Hello everyone watching, it's Tech and Astronomer. I hope you will enjoy how far we have reached in technology. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Topic, Mission Mars. Let's go. Mars is the first planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system. It is sometimes called the red planet because of rusty iron in the ground. It has a very thin atmosphere made of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and agony. Let's go to the mission, Mission Mars. It's called the Mission Mars 2020 Perseverance Rover Launch. It was launched on July 30th, 2020 at 4 a.m. Perseverance launched on Atlas V500 41 rocket from Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. The rocket was made in New Canada, state of California, where the Jet Propulsion Laboratory is located. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory is a unique national research facility that carries out robotic space and air science missions. After all that was made in that laboratory, it was then brought back to Cape Canaveral where the launch was made. Actually, it was launched in Canaveral. So, the mission Mars was chosen 30th July because it will be near by the time to reach it by taking seven months to reach planet Mars according to their rotation in orbit form synchronization as they predicted. So the orbit form synchronization is the point where Earth and Mars are in their closest alignment which occurs around every 26-37 months. That's the ideal time launch as the distance around two planets is reduced to 50-55 million kilometer distance because the two planets are in the egg shape orbit and every alignment is equal. So that's it. It will be near by the time it reaches February. Those are seven months as they predicted. Uh, Mars is like where we see planet Earth. There are features like mountains, valleys, deltas and many other more. Actually there are craters on the mountains as we know here. In, on Earth. By the way, it is the planet with the tallest mountain in our solar system called Olympus Moon. The tallest. It is actually tallest three times than Mount Everest. Also with the tallest deltas. As you know, deltas. The Perseverance Lover Ranch, Perseverance nicknamed Passe, is a famous rover. Actually, it looks like a car. Dimension 3M, X2M, power 100 watts was also manufactured by Jet Propulsion Laboratory where also the rocket was made. Perseverance carries seven scientific instruments to study the Martian surface at Jazeera Creator. We have the Maltfix, Moxie, Supercam, Meda, Pixel, Mastercam and Shelco. Yeah, there are seven. Uh, on Meda, the first part, Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, it has a core drill to collect rocks samples and paste them in a sea tubes. These samples will be placed on the surface and possibly be collected on the future Mars mission to be returned to us for study. Actually, learning geology on Mars is a foundation knowledge that improved for future colonists as it will help to colonize it easily. The another goal on Mars mission 2020 is to prepare for human exploitation. This is why humans will start to travel to Mars and return safely in their health. The second we shall look at MOXIE on the part of the rover. In short, is the Mars Oxygen Ice RO experiment where is an exploitation technology experiment that will produce a small amount, amount of pure oxygen from Martian atmospheric carbon dioxide in a process called solid electrosis. MOXIE is a 1% scale model aboard of the Perseverance rover as part of the Mars United mission. The principal investigator of MOXIE instrument, Michael Hashe, from Mascat Institute of Technology, collaborates with Neil Ba Institute of University of Copenhagen to develop the prototype. The prototype you are seeing now, it is successful. That if successful, the technology can be scaled up as means of producing oxygen, propellant oxygen on Mars, ancient vehicle for a sample return. We also have the rover. Has, the rover has a helicopter called Mars Helicopter Immunity. It is a robotic helicopter that is planned to be used to test the 
technologies shoot interesting targets on Mars and help plan the best driving route for future Mars rover. It is planned to make the first powered flight on any planet beyond on Earth and it is expected to fly up five times during Saturday's test campaign. I think you see. It has a pixel PI XL capable for momentary instrument for X-ray lithochemistry. This is an X-ray fluorescent spectrometer to determine the final scale element compression of Martian surface material designed for the Perseverance rover as part of the Mars 2020 mission for scanning habitable environments with drama and luminescence for organics and chemicals. That's Shimirako. Those people who did chemistry, you understand. Oh, biology. Uh, to have life on Mars, to have life on Mars, or to get create an atmosphere. On Mars, the atmosphere is composed of carbon dioxide, 95.3%, nitrogen, 2.7%, oxygen, 0.2%. But if you find a way to turn carbon dioxide into breathable air and create condi condition for life, would be much more condition of Mars. Scientists have dropped three trans terraforming methods to conquer the Mars. Three ways to uh, terraforming, yeah. First method is to install orbital mills with a diameter of 250 kilometers or 155 mils. These lenses are expected to be reflected sunlight, effectively mating the ice. Carbon dioxide will be released. This will lead to green light emissions, increasing temperature. The problem is that these emissions will weigh yeah, they will weigh like 200k tons. And getting them to Mars will be a huge, huge challenge. So scientists are trying to identify the necessary raw materials in space. And it will be difficult. So we have to use method two. The second method involves the construction of factories for production of green light gases. These factories will need to imitate photosynthesis to absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen gradually, making it suitable for breathing. So greenhouse factories have to operate so in much energy for better all. So science is such, it's impossible to transport those rockets to build the factories, the red planet. It's an obstacle, you see. It is difficult. But scientists from Northwestern University, Chicago, have discovered the solution, the 3D printing obtain elements 3d printing i don't know if you understand it you see 3d print obtain elements so that we can just bring a 3d a 3d printer to mars it's impossible to print all necessary parts of green life plants once we arrive the answer to this question we don't know but it's difficult but even the plans for building factories do not work people have a third method because plans for building factories it is difficult the third method for transforming Mars, its space scientists actually Christopher Mark and Robert Zublin developed a book called The Case of Mars. This is the use of ice asteroids with ammonia according to the plan. Nuclear from rockets in the need somehow to be attached to the real asteroids. The rockets will guide asteroids and force them to move towards Mars when the asteroids collide with the red planet. About 130 million megawatts of energy will be increased. This will increase the temperature by 300 Celsius or 5.4 Fahrenheit. And due to the melting of glaciers, about a trillion tons of water will be released under the planet over the course of 50 years. Several missions like this one will create an atmosphere which is a temperate 